Hey, howdy, hey, y'all. It's another collab day, and today I am collabing with Dion from Dion Loves Makeup. And we are doing a smoky eye. We are not doing a traditional smoky eye. We're going to do something a little bit different. Most everybody thinks about a smoky eye as black and gray and... That's not what we're going to do, because, you know, we do stuff different around here. The palette that I'm going to be using is this Alien Cosmetics, which is now Unearthly Cosmetics, not normal palette. I love this palette. It is one of my favorite palettes. Look at how pretty that is. Mm, mm. I have already put on my lotions and potions and serums and primers and foundations and eye primers and blushes and bronzers and highlighters and whew, that's a lot of stuff. So now we're just going to get straight on into the eye look. I know that y'all will be surprised to find that I am using the Luxie 231. It is a small tapered blending brush. And I am going to go into this color here. And use that as my transition shade. So Dion and I are new friends. We have been following each other for a little while. Not a long time, but a little while on YouTube and IG. And she does some really amazing looks on her channel so her video will be linked down below so when y'all are done watching my video you can go check out Dion's video and see what kind of smoky eyes she came up with this is such a pretty color it's just, to me, the perfect brown. But I just, I love this palette. Love it, love it, love it. So, so, y'all have no idea how many times in my videos I say so because I cut it out. I say it a lot. So, let's talk about something that has kind of fretted me a little bit. Staying with that same brush. What am I going to do? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. That is not what I'm doing. I am going to take my eyeliner and I'm going to tight line a little bit and run some eyeliner along my upper lash because I'm not doing conventional makeup or makeup in the order or the right way or because there is no wrong or right way which is what I want to talk about that kind of irritated me. This is Clinique. I have no idea where I got this from. Quick liner for eyes. It had to have come in some box or something because I do not buy Clinique products. And I'm trying to concentrate on not doing all kinds of weird things with my mouth because I notice sometimes when I'm editing my videos I'm like why do my lips look like that like I do that when I put 
when I put my mascara on. But you know what? This is a real channel doing real beauty. This is real stuff. No filters. I make weird faces. Look, I'm making a weird face right now. Oh, gosh. That looks like a hot mess, don't it? But we're going to take a little brush and we're going to smudge that out. The other thing that I've noticed lately is <clears throat> I have been low talking. I have my attention, attention. Clean up on aisle six, please. Clean up on aisle six. I put it a little bit closer. So I'm just putting on makeup and I'm talking and the camera's not even recording. So what I was saying was <laughs> that I'm going into this color right here, which is called grunge, which is very befitting for that name. And as you can see, I have placed that in my crease and I was talking about the thing that happened the other day that really irked me I was watching a larger beauty channel I'm not gonna call out who the channel was that's not important and she was doing, she has like over 200,000 followers. And she was doing an eye look. Actually, she was kind of doing an experiment where she was putting, she did all mattes on one eye and she was doing shimmers on the other. The whole argument about whether or not you should wear shimmers or glitters on mature eyes. Which was interesting to see how different the eyes looked because she tried to use the same colors and and all of that so but at the end of the video she said this is the part that kind of irked me she said let me know down in the comments what is appropriate shimmer or no shimmer and that really irritated me <laughs> Because, because, <laughs> nobody can tell you what is appropriate for you. They can't tell you that about your hair. They can't tell you that about your clothes. They can't tell you that about your makeup. Nobody has the right to tell you what is or is not appropriate for you. You do you, boo. Okay? You do you. Alright, so now I'm going to go into this black. Same brush, because I like it. And I'm going to put that on my outer lower lid. Do y'all remember the Drew Carey show? Do y'all remember Mimi from the Drew Carey show? I've had, I've had a lot of people tell me that I remind them of her. My sassy, dry sense of humor reminds them of Mimi. So I'm going to put a picture of Mimi right up here. Y'all see Mimi's blue eyes and she's very vibrant and bold and colorful and she's just out there. She's in your face now. I know that they did that for TV purposes and for that whole wow factor, but there are people like that. And that's okay. If that's what you want to do, if you want to wear blue eyeshadow from eyelid to hairline, if that makes you feel good about yourself, 
to hell with what everybody else says. Do it. You do it. I'm going into this purple now with this little detail brush on my lower lid. I mean, I have crinkly eyes. Look, y'all see? You see the skin moving? You see the... You see all the texture? You can see all the texture with this eyeshadow that I have put on. Should I let that dictate to me what kind of look I do or what kind of eyeshadow I choose to wear? Should I let that hold me back and hinder me? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. No. Request denied. We will not be having any of that nonsense. You know, if you've been around for a bit, I don't have a lot of fallout, but I do have just a titch. If you've been around for a little while and have watched any of the collabs here on my channel or that I have been involved with, um, if you have not been here, if you're new since New Year's, you can go back and watch, um, I believe the New Year's collab, the Winter Skin Care collab, there are a couple. You can go back and watch those. And I want you to go watch Lisa Ann's videos because she was part of that collab. I hadn't really been able to talk about this <laughs> because you can't put makeup on and cry at the same time. That doesn't work. My voice might crack up a little bit though. I'm not going to lie because it just breaks my heart. But Lisa Ann, who was in that collab, what is today? Today is Saturday. She passed away. This coming Monday will be two weeks ago that she passed away. Beautiful, beautiful girl. She's a beautiful girl because she was a beautiful person. She had a heart of gold. She was an amazing person. And I don't know how old Lisa Ann was. I want to say she was in her her early to mid 40s maybe I don't know because she's just she looked very young so but I'm guessing that that's maybe about how old she was and she's not here she is no longer here to worry about what her eyes look like when she puts makeup on and she did phenomenal bold and colorful looks. Hell, she did swatches across her face. <laughs> if you don't know who Lisa Ann is, you need to. I will link her down below so that you can go check out some of her videos. But life is too short to worry about this kind of stuff. If you want to do something, do it. Do it now. Don't wait. Wear what you want to wear. Wear the eyeshadow palette that you want to wear. Hell, buy the eyeshadow palette that you want to buy. Use the brushes that you want to use, however you want to use them. Wear the shoes that you want to wear. Go where you want to go. Do what you want to do. Because life is too short. You do not know when your day will come. I, I talked to Lisa two days before she passed away. I had a conversation with her two days before she passed away. She did not know that she was going to pass away. So that's my high horse. <laughs> it really fretted me that the question was asked to let her know what was appropriate because nobody can tell you what is appropriate for you. It really, 
It really fretted me, as you can see. Alrighty, now what am I going to do? I'm going to take this purple and put it in my inner lid with my finger. Oh, look at how pretty that is. So pretty. I'm telling you, I just love this palette. Love it. This palette is still available on the Unearthly website. And I don't remember. 40-ish dollars, maybe something like that. This is... One of my favorites. I love this palette. Look at my eye. Wiggling and jiggling. Did y'all know when your eye does that, that that's a sign that you need some magnesium? I am just a wealth of information. So now I'm going to do something. Mascara, lip, maybe some lashes. Try to figure out what's going on with this hair. And I'll be back. So here's the finished look. I tried to do more purple, but it seems that I have pretty much done maybe a traditional smoky eye but that's okay it's a Leanna smoky eye because I can do what I want <laughs> right the lip that I went with is this Bare Minerals Integrity is the name of it very pretty shade this is the first time that I've used it I wanted to do this purple this is the liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild, and this is Deviant Damsel, which would have been perfect, but <clears throat> I didn't have a lip liner to match, and I could not get it on straight to save me because that's hard to do. That takes a lot of practice, and you've got to be really experienced for that. The Not Normal Palette. Beautiful, beautiful palette. I just love these shades. They blend together so well. I keep this palette on my vanity at all times. It is one of my favorites. I just love it. I am going to go over and check out Dion's video. I will see y'all over there. Dion is amazing. She is very different and I love people who are not afraid to be themselves. And she is not afraid to be herself. So go check her out. If you enjoyed my video, <laughs> hit that like button, show that like button some love. As always, I'd like to remind you that makeup is meant to enhance the natural beauty that you already are. And we are all beautiful at any age and any size. Find something to be grateful for today. Pull your makeup out and play with it. Be authentically you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye-bye. Christopher. Christopher. Christopher, do you need Mama to teach you how to do a smoky eye? That way you have a smoky eye to match, you know, when you're, when you and Tony are fishing at night around the lake and you got the campfire going on. Campfire, smoky eye. Okay, Mama loves you, boo. <laughs>